Season 5 of the ABB FIA Formula E Championship is now underway. In the Riyadh e Prix season opener, the Mahindra team debuted its new M5 Electro Challenger and an all-new driver lineup. Well, welcome to Mahindra's Banbury facilities. We are about to take you through all that's new for this season. Now, most obviously, it is this car, the Gen 2 car. Not only does it look amazing on the outside, but on the inside, it supports a brand new battery with double the energy storage capacity. And that means one car per driver per race. The top speeds of these cars reach 280 kilometers an hour. Perfect for battling it out on the streets of some of the world's most iconic cities. 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in just 2.8 seconds. A perfect demonstration of the instant torque that you get with these electric race cars. And then, of course, these cars are more powerful. During quali mode, the power available to the drivers is 250 kilowatts. And then during race mode, it's 200 kilowatts, creating the fastest field of Formula E cars yet. In line with the FIA's latest safety requirements, the halo head protection system is now integrated within the car's design. So who is driving the new Mahindra car? Well, we've got series veteran Jerome D'Ambrosio, while over in the second car, former DTM champion and former Formula One driver Pascal Verlein made his championship debut in the Marrakesh e -Prix in Morocco. One new strategic element to the race format is attack mode. Drivers receive an extra boost of power for up to eight minutes during the race, and it's triggered by driving through an activation zone on the track. Once activated, the halo lights up blue and it shows who's pushing hard on track. We'll be getting under the skin of Mahindra's brand new car to find out why this season of Formula E is going to be absolutely electrifying.